Uh, yeah, I just want to say, is it because we are missing, we are missing something very important, mm. and that is the again. I like when they say start to school, and I'm asking because the subject matter here is that some persons are giving seven days ultimatum mm -hmm. to present what I don't know what they want and what they want to be presented to them. What, what they wanted to present is clear. What? They asked for a budget. The they budget. have no, they have no, I'm saying it here that the they do not have a locus to ask the governor. Why they seize, they seize, the they seize listen to me, the by the provisions of the constitution, they seized. Who enforced it? But I said the constitution is self explanatory. How is constitution self explanatory? Very simple. Mm -hmm. The day you so say that I am no longer a member of a party, you have lost your seat. There are no bendings inside. All right. Now, the only part of it is that mm -hmm. the speaker will take effect from your speech. Mm -hmm. And the then speaker of the National Assembly, mm -hmm. as known by law, eh, mm -hmm. took effect from their speech, mm -hmm. saying they are no longer are members you, of a party. Are you, Dr. Emmanuel? Yes. Are you that one of the criteria to defection or having the speaker announce your defection is a written letter to the speaker. Have you at any point in time... There is no way in the... Oh. There is no way in the... Hold on, madam, madam, hold on, hold on. No, 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 sir, okay. no, 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 don't shut me. No, this, 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 we are having a conversation. Yes, I am not done. Good, let me hear you. No, hold on. So you don't impute things that are not there. Hold on. Don't impute things that are not there. You have said a lot of things yes. that are unsubstantiated, actually. I want to hear your you own. You have said a lot of things that are unsubstantiated yes. and things that are not even acceptable. For example, when you said that the, the Constitution itself is a cute Completely satisfactory. Now, what area and parts of the Nigerian Constitution itself is a cutry? Yes, please. Is that the only con if you if you're saying I just told you let, let's make let, let me give you an um uh, let's let's make it simple let's simplify can you read you let's, have it here no no can you, no no don't simplify because you're imputing things that are not there can you, you have you have it here you see, see, see you were lucky you have it here if I had if I had the question before me now mm -hmm. I would have clearly shown you if you read Mr. Sims has yes, yes, sir, I'm, sure, read it. I'm sure he will read it yes but oh, before, let him go but which is let him go I will use my listen Let's look at the self executory part of the Constitution with a very simple uh, explanation. Let's make it very pedestrian for people who are watching us. For example, the law, under the law, you have freedom of movement, correct? And then you move from, probably you trespass and move into somebody else's. If you use the language trespass, that's it. That's... Hold on. You trespass and move into somebody's property. Now, the person probably has seen that you have moved into his property and that was and that was illegal decides to shoot you the matter will go to court if the police decides or if the person decides to prosecute it is at the behest of the court to determine whether you actually broke the constitution or not what i'm trying to say I, is I like no matter how pedestrian no matter how pedestrian you think a, cause the, a provision of the constitution is, it is to be interpreted by the judiciary. That's what it is. So when you say that the, the, that part of the constitution is self-executory, it, it, it begs a lot of questions. If it is self-executory, now there are provisos. That is what you have also failed to understand. Maybe you don't that, have, you that, are the that, one that, say, that, you, that, that, that you, you are the one that have to understand. You will have your say, sir. You are the one that have to understand. Have your say, sir. <laughs> that particular constitution, 109G, has provisos, if you recall. And those provisos, anybody can put and interpret it in any way. It is still left for the courts to give correct interpretation. It is the courts at this point that will determine whether they have defected or not. And the matter already is being challenged in court. I, so you, you cannot sit on national television and make your own proclamation that they are they are sad. I said it is left for them. It is, they are doing it's illegal. It's illegal. It is left for them. And that's what they refuse to do. It is left for them to go to court. I made it very clear here. So you don't get it wrong. It is left it for is, them to go to court. They will go to court. 
the appeal the, the appeal court the appeal court has even nullified the judgment that please that they are please now that is a wrong interpretation. a wrong interpretation very wrong why don't you let what the appeal court, court did the supreme court of course that's where they've gone what the appeal court did and again please let's put this in straight pending, that's what pending when supreme it, court gives madam, its final madam, interpretation madam, you will it get is it. what it is hold on hold so. on so you don't you don't you don't tell people the wrong thing I am not you are, I asking, asking you questions. No, you're, you're you are telling people the wrong thing. facts here. Hold on. Uh -huh. You are completely misrepresenting the facts as said by the Supreme Court. The, the Appeal Court. What the Appeal Court what did, did Appeal Court do? is that uh -huh. the lower court has no jurisdiction in entertaining the case. What, what was Hold the on, judgment madam. of the, what Hold was the ruling of the lower court? You, an issue of division, uh -huh. whatever you had asked for, uh -huh. breaks down as soon as an issue of division is contested. Uh -huh. That's a lawyer. Uh -huh. As soon as issue of decision is contested uh -huh. and it is won, whatever you had asked for is set aside. All right. What I, I, did, I did tell you something. I said what the appeal court did was to give two rooms, even to the so-called Oko Jumbo and his group. Uh -huh. One is that hey, the court you went to is a wrong court. Uh -huh. The meaning is that you have a court you need to go to. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. Uh -huh. It does not in any way. If you say somebody doesn't have judicial, the substantive matter has not been heard. Isn't it double speak that you just made right Please, now? Please, uh, I, I don't like to come into this. Yeah, but it's very What's double speak? Before, you just did a double speak. Let me hear you. Because you said that when matters of jurisdiction are being entertained and, yes. and it, is, it is ruled on in this case, it means that all the proceedings and everything that has to do with that trial court has been set aside. In other words, made null and void. Now, the question is, what was the matter that the trial court entertained and the appeal court said they do not have the jurisdiction you, to entertain it? Uh, listen, yes, yes. Because, see, let me, let, me, let me sound this clear so we, our viewers know where we belong. You have a right to have an opinion. I am asking. Hold on, you, you are not. You are not. You are not. You are imputing. No, when you ask a question, when you ask a no, question, no, you, you, you when you ask a question, yourself. no, that's your understanding. All right. Ask me that said the thing, what I said, so I, I can explain. You, I that's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. All right. You're imputing your own knowledge, and I'm telling you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you're interviewing me and you want to hear my view, you listen to my view. I listen. And where you don't understand, you ask again, so you get clarifications. Mm -hmm. I'm not to impute what you think you know. I do. Because you will make a mistake. I repeated what you, you just said. The way you understood it. Oh. I, you said it's a double speak, and I'm sure you have asked some questions. What do you mean by double speak? Mm -hmm. I said here mm -hmm. that if it, see, I bring something to you, mm -hmm. the thing could be thrown away, mm -hmm. as it did here on issues of jurisdiction. It did not. Mm -hmm. There was no time the appeal court said the 25 of them that defected mm -hmm. should stay. They did not say so. Please go and read that judgment. Some people judgment have read it twice or thrice. Doctor Emmanuel, hold on. You're not listening to me. The substantive matter. As of today, if you say there's no judicial, what on earth are you what, what, what on what, earth and appeal are you looking at? What was the but let's even get out of it. Let me listen. Me let's even get what out of it. What was the ruling of the trial court? The trial he did tell you here that they came with two. Uh -uh. Hold on. You, not what Barista said. No, no. What Hold was up. the ruling? There was no ruling of the in the real sense of the word. What was, what, the, what was the ex parte order? God bless you. What was the interlocutory order? The interlocutory order was oh, yet, is yet, is yet to be, is yet, they, they are yet to get to the inter, uh, interlocutory uh, order as it were. What the happened at the order expired order expired is, and an interlocutory order was given. Was given. Good. Listen now, so we, get, we don't get these things mixed up. All right. We don't, we don't need to get, get it mixed up. All right. First and foremost, mm -hmm. people went to court and got an order. Interlocutory, uh, sorry, uh, interim initially, and then an interlocutory, interlocutory order was given. Now, this order says, gentlemen, don't stop parading yourselves. Uh, and so on and so forth, about six things or thereabouts. Mention them for, for the sake of clarity. I won't be able to mention all of them, but substantively is that you do not parade yourself as One, members of the state has a family. Hmm? Stopped, the, stopped the, uh, the governor from interfacing with them. Should I go on? You can do all of that. Listen to me. No, that, that just to tell you that. And I'm informing you as at today. Mm -hmm. As at today. Mm -hmm. What the appeal court has done mm -hmm. or succeeded in doing mm -hmm. was to say, you have you went to a wrong court, you have a right to go to another court. Mm -hmm. The gentlemen, as I'm talking today, have gone first mm -hmm. to say, I think what you gave mm -hmm. eh? is nonsense, as it were. Let me use the very dirty language. It's nonsense. I so you have gone to the Supreme Court for interpretation, which some of us have said. Mm -hmm. Because he has mentioned section 272 being always all cited, but they've also refused to cite section 252. Mm -hmm. eh? 
that can actually give locals as it were. But that's for the Supreme Court to if, give. If, if I may ask. That's you. Court, you see, right, when continue. you keep doing what you're doing, you won't get. You won't get because if you have a, if you have a position, I'm not sure you will invite me to come here. You will sit here and then tell the world what your positions are. Eh? So I expect you, I expect you to either just ask questions and listen to us. Instead of you, when I will ask in cleaning, you, in when cleaning you your own know, opinions, but that's what when you're doing. you misrepresent facts. If you know the facts, if you know, if you know, if you know the facts that much, if you know the facts that much, no, if you know the facts that much, you represent facts. Listen, if you know the facts that much, you'll be allowed to impugn your facts as it is. When you misrepresent, no, I'm you, you, you talked about jurisdiction and you talked about because, the rule. You initially because, said there was because, no interest. Because, listen, I reminded you there was one. I didn't you say, and I told you what I said the they went there what for the things. Rulings? You said you cannot remember, and I'm giving you the rulings. I just told you. You said there were six, and you couldn't remember them, and I'm giving them out to you. I do not and need I, I, I am asking you a straight question. If the appeal court has said, they do not have jurisdiction. And I said it they is two things. The meaning is just two things. What does it mean? The meaning is oh. go to the right court. Now, if the appeal court, according to what yeah, the meaning said, of that judgment okay. is go to the right if court or go to the Supreme Court, and those two things the people to, would do. According to what you have said, sir, if according to your interpretation, what it means is that they should go to the right court. Beautiful. Does that mean that the court that has no jurisdiction? No justification to entertain the matter, whatever expert order and interlocutory injunction that they have given. Please, consists, please, listen to, saying, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Even before the court, I said here that the constitution is self executory. Uh -uh. We are not going to self -executory. You will hear it. We are talking about no, appeal. Let's say, judgment. It's nonsense. You said it's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's and nonsense, I'm telling you that right? what? Oh, thank God. Now, my it is nonsense. Get, madam, can you allow me to land so that you understand what we're talking? We're, 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 just, we're just making you noise. Are, you're mixing we're, making, we're just making noise. You're bringing, if you listen you're to bringing, me, you're bringing we are making noise. If you listen to me, it will be. It, it, so listen, if you listen to me, it will be proper for you to understand where we are coming from. You've been repeating your No, words. because you are mixing it up. Can you listen to me so that you hear my position right, clearly? Go on. Go on. The matter on ground that mm -hmm. Oko Jumbo, I like my colleague did say, it was really even a matter in the first place that was supposed to go to court in the first instance. Mm -hmm. And I did tell you here that the matter was a question of 25 members of a state assembly mm -hmm. who, on their own volition, mm -hmm. defected to another party. Mm -hmm. And I said, from the position of that defection, mm -hmm. eh, I do not need the law to tell me that. I don't, I don't need the court to tell me that they are no longer members of the assembly. Listen to me. Now, having reached that stage, mm -hmm. the ordinary course of action will have been those that will have been told that they are no longer members of the assembly to go to court. And what the provision there says is that they should go and prove mm -hmm. that actually the defection was as a reason of their party. Where do they prove it? Mother, can you listen to me? I'm it is them. Going to court, uh -huh. you have left the seat. Uh -huh. The seat is self executory from the day you do that shift. First and foremost, from the day you do that shift, it is self executory that you have lost your seat. Uh -huh. In fact, ordinarily speaking, you are the mercy, first and foremost, of whoever the speaker is to delay your leaving the seat. Uh -huh. As soon as you do that, program, the speaker so accepts, uh -huh. which is what happened to this 25, 25 gentleman. As soon as that acceptance is done, you have lost your seat. It is you. It's like being suspended in the assemblies. Mm. When they suspend you, because you, you were elected doesn't make you forcefully come inside the assembly again. You will go to court. You, not the, not the assembly. You will go to court to challenge the process of your suspension, mm -hmm. expulsion, whatever it is. It is these two purposes. Who has to go to court? And that's what they used to do. Mm -hmm. In the eyes of the law, and I challenge anybody to tell me otherwise. The, the thing is self-explanatory as it is. Uh -huh. The execution is simple. As at today, seven days of Timothy, they say they are giving to see a budget. I can assure you, they will not see a budget till the end of this tenure. You just jumped the appeal court in every explanation you just made. The matter before appeal court was something else. It was an issue of judicial for crying out loud. Now I ask And I said it has no it has no it has no it has no implications okay. for the subject matter. Mm. It has no implication. So if if the appeal court says that the trial court has no jurisdiction to entertain a matter, what is the implication? The is very simple. Of the Whoever and the judgment you are not listening. Trial. That's the problem. The I judgment the did not rule on the substantive what, matter. What is the implication of the interlocutory order by the trial court? A very simple thing. Push it aside. 
get to the normal court. That's what they said. But if it has been pushed aside, I have a right. Okujomo has a right to either go to court or not. But let me inform you. Whether he goes, I hold on, you're not listening. Whether he goes, to, that is Okujomo that went to court. Matter. The so-called mm. appeal court matter is Okujomo. What I said is this: if I asked about the implication, I told you the implication aside of the appeal court judgments. Saying, saying court A does not have a jurisdiction. The question is, which court has the jurisdiction? That is not the that question. question is. You are asking a question that is not what That I is what the question is. No, sir. That is what the question is. You, you, are, you are actually deflecting. No. It's, 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 it's your Barista, intent. Barista your mind is the one that is dubbing you. Barrister Sims, please, you may have the floor. Honestly, I must be very frank with uh, what is happening. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, totally not in the best spirit and element right now to go further more than what has been explained because uh, when issues come to this level, it behooves that uh, people are opinionated and uh, whatever you say is going to be like pouring water on the rock. But out of respect, I would say that uh, and for the benefit of those who are watching, I would uh, make some clarifications. Because it beats me hollow. All over Nigeria, all over people are, have uh, more lawyers in Nigeria now than engineers. Everybody on the streets will tell you he knows the constitution. So the job of the lawyer has become very difficult. Nobody is objective any longer, but we are swayed by affiliations to political interests and parties. It's sorry sight. But for the benefit of the doubt, I will start with this. Section 109 sub 2, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, shall give effect to subsection 1, which is taking somebody out of this section. So, however, that the speaker or a member shall first present evidence satisfactory to the House that any of the provisions of that section has been including defection. So, the speaker, the speaker, when you say you give him that discretion, to now know what is satisfactory. That is where another problem comes in because discretion is used in Nigeria politically and not judiciously. And it's not used based on equity, good conscience, and good conduct because most people who are there have lost their consciences and with deadened consciences. So discretion can be used arbitrarily. So you might not even read this, but I'll say, no, 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 go. That is why you find out that in Nigeria today, even with the National Assembly, people defect from party A to party B. But the Senate president will hug them without invoking Section 109 because it's left at their discretion. The Senate president will hug them. The Speaker of the House of Reps will hug them. In a boy state, and all those, you see, if they, once they belong to the ruling party, once you meet the ruling party, you, you, there's no section 109. So that is why I'm, I'm looking at this reverse, whatever, as something that uh, I think gangsters are operating. You know? I'm becoming very tired of the whole issue. You know? Why is your own different? You see, people, we, even in the National Assembly, the other man defected. They even read the letter. How that the man. Mr. Speaker, I'm defecting. They say, hey, they're going to hey, they say, shift to the side. He still sit in the house and nothing is done. So that discretion given to the Speaker is used politically in Nigeria. These are areas of the Constitution we need to clear. The second one question I need to ask As at the time this 27 was defected, Amir Hule was a factional speaker. Whereas, is he here? He was another factional speaker. So which of the speakers should give effect to this? Is it the speaker of the 32, or speaker of 4, or speaker of 25, that should give effect to section 1092? Because Amehule was speaker, he couldn't have presented a letter to himself 
as a speaker because he defected too. So there is actually a provision where a letter has to be presented. Yeah, that is it. That is complaint yeah. has to be the complaint has to be presented <laughs> to the speaker by so the speaker has to do or somebody has to do that. You see, here. but who presented this? Uh, uh, who raised the issue? Because Amehule was a uh, factional speaker. Oko Jumbo was social. They didn't come to Oko Jumbo's court. I don't know. I didn't, I mean, they didn't come to Oko Jumbo's assembly or a year's assembly of four or five. These are issues I want the courts to adjudicate upon and clear it. What the judgment of the Court of Appeal has even reinstated today is that Section 109 sub G is not self executory. I've said this before. The final, whatever. In the locus classicals we have, he, as much as the Speaker of the House of Ondo has for Assembly declared that Ben Gude's seat you know, vacant, they went to court and the court was the one that took the final decision based on this section 272 sub 3. Supreme Court now to why that was happening, Ben Gude had the stay of his, which allowed him to sit in the house. And because he was just one person, the people didn't really care. They just allowed him was sitting in the house. So it's politics all over the place. So it means that the, speak, uh, the Court of Appeal has said that, yes, you speaker, you can declare the seat vacant. But it becomes incoherent until and unless, if any, parties, any of the parties go to court, then it now lies in the purview of the court to now finalize that particular decision. But if nobody goes to court, if nobody goes to court to challenge this, then that section 109 becomes self, you know, executory. But if somebody challenges that section 109G to say no, the speaker, you can't do this, this, and this is why they do it list to me, because you use your discretion arbitrarily, politically, and not judiciously, and cautionably, and at the same time, equitably, based on political situation, you did this. Because if I had defeated to your own fashion, you would have read this. Then the man has a special ground for him to do an appeal. And until and unless, once the matter goes to court, until and unless that court now gives an order, otherwise, those people remain members of the House of Assembly. That is what the, what the, the law is said. But if they don't go, if nobody goes to court, we have seen situations where somebody goes and says, I'm no longer a member of this party, I'm defeated, he walks away. Automatically, INEC will conduct it because nobody is challenging it. But once somebody is challenging my whatever, or you have come to challenge. And the funniest thing, to be very honest, I'm just giving a very disproportionate view of a proportionate view of this whole thing. To be very honest, those who are even tinkling and walking up and down is the person that belongs to the governor. The only thing called doing this to declare this illegal, declare these people are not disturbing you. You run to court and declare illegal, do this one, move up and down. The only time these 27 even went to court, and which they are basing their authority today, or being members of the house, is it just some other short matter? Nobody is raising it. The faction belong to Oko Jumbo, the faction because belong to a year, and the rest of them, they have not gone to vary that particular. Judgment of a judge tomato shop from Abuja that is still floating in the air. And by virtue of section 287 of the constitution, that particular judgment becomes the, the, the judgment. And you cannot sit on television station or maybe sit on the roundabout close to the government house or do rallies at the Amesi um, American Stadium and say that judge is useless or the judgment is useless. You can't do that. So you have to go and vacate that state, that particular order. I don't know what the age of the state is doing because I thought if it's acting for this uh, uh, here and the rest of the it should go there and vacate that particular judgment. I mean, appeal that judgment. Because the judgment is still a life fire. It, the, 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 whether the judge was right or wrong, he gave a judgment. And that is what this people are relying on today to say that they are members of uh, the, the House of Assembly of the state. Because another was given that the government should not stop or disturb them from, you know, parading themselves or whatever they want to do as members of the assembly. They are sitting. Allowances that they are supposed to pay should be paid to them. The quarters should be retained. It is It's a judgment that is life. No matter how frivolous a court judgment is, 
The best thing is to either you vacate or you are, I mean, you appeal it. Just like this for appeal, Justice Wallace appeal. If they are waited and we are just moving and acting, Justice Wallace said whatever judgment would or whatever order would have seen be floating today. But they have to go and appeal it. I'm just being very frank and objective to people around here. So that we don't kill ourselves over nothing. You understand? The issue of the river said matter has come that of Nigeria playing football. If people die, the footballers are giving dollars and go. Somebody will just say, I was watching Nigeria game and I fainted. A man said he was watching Arsenal and Chelsea. He, they were beating a, a club. He, he died and they buried him in Baeza. Meanwhile, the players who are playing, they don't even recognize you. So it's the reverse situation is the way I'm seeing it now. So these are the constant issues that we are looking at. These people are clever. Forget that you have lawyers who are advising them. They have lawyers. If you read what they said, if you read the statement turned out by the Ameole group, it says that they have the right to sit. And that is why police have not gone there to go and disperse them. Based on the judgment of justice or motor show. But analysts on the other side was just say that judgment was fake. That judgment was procured. Go and vacate or arrest that appeal that particular judgment for goodness sake. This is democracy. This is not gangstocracy. You understand how the case may be. The other issue I want to tackle on this particular issue is this. On why this is not by operation of law. You can say they are no longer members of the House of Assembly. Like I, 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 I'm just trying to reiterate. But by equitable disposition, as the case may be, since they are in court, they are to participate in whatever legislation. I've said this in a number of fora until the court gives a contrary judgment. Otherwise, we'll be looking for anarchy. I liken this to the state of a tenant and a landlord. I've said this over and over. And I have asked this question. My tenancy expired 22nd of November last year. The landlord used his lawyer to write to me and say, your tenancy has expired by a fusion of time. I discussed this with another fellow lawyer here the other day. And it has, it has expired by operation of the law. He writes to me. But me, I got the letter, I'm still staying in the house. Because the landlord does not have the right to come and break my door to say, because my tenancy expired, he has made pronouncement. No! It is not self executory. It is either I run to court as a tenant to say, no, he didn't give me the right notices, he didn't do this, or I will just stay put and be enjoying. Or the landlord, like in this case, that was what Uncle Jumbo did. He, he claims to be the landlord, so he had to run to court to say, this tenant is still in this place, so disturbing me. And when you now file the matter, say, the tenant is still there, in spite of notices and whatever giving, in spite of the fact that, the court will say, and so, and so, well, is that the reason why you are coming here? Of course, he has to stay there. Then you have now what they call the main profit. So the matter will be adjourning, it will be, it be, it will be your ass, straight party, eating chicken and drinking coke. You, the landlord, you don't have money to able feed. But you can't go and beat him. If you beat him and throw him, you enter a problem because that is the law. Because the law, you know, setting up recovery of premises, this is what it says. At the end of the day, judgment is not given against the tenant by that court. The court, the, the tenant wants to run away, said, no, you can't run. You have to pay. They'll go and seize these things and sell them to pay the landlord. In this case, if they are sitting in the uh, court and the judgment is given against them, that they are no members, in Abegude's case, they say, return all the allowance or whatever you collected illegally. So why are we making noise over all these things in the state? These are the questions that I'm asking. It's because of high discipline policies that we play, politics of the serengeti that we play here. Not put people, populist-oriented politics. People are suffering. So these are the things we look at. So, because you want to impeach a government, does that mean the state should, should go ablaze or aflame? Is impeachment, for instance, is it a criminal offense in Nigeria? Is it a coup? It's in our constitution. But because of the way we play our politics here, the man they say they want to remove me, is it an offense? 
He's scared and say, oh, because these people don't like me. They are personalizing uh, this thing. They want to throw me out. The other people say, let's throw him out so that we can put our person there and be eating money. That is what is, what is happening. Otherwise, Banana Bemosa was impeached. Ejinaya Baribe was impeached. Ayo Fayoshi was impeached. Alame Siga. Joshua Darie. They were all impeached as sitting governors in the Democrats 1998. The state did not burn. See, we must have to examine ourselves for those for and against. What is the interest of them? We are not perceived democracy. Nigeria should just leave democracy and practice monarchical, uh, you know, what theocracy. Because when you do so, you say he does not have conscience. Well, look at it. In a democracy, you we'll talk about conscience. It's only in theocracy, like in Saudi Arabia, that someone also say, "Why did you drink alcohol? Don't you know that alcohol uh, is against the whatever rules or whatever?" They behead the person. That is monarchy. But in a democracy, constitutional democracy that we practice here, the constitution reigns supreme. You don't go outside of it. So this is the government. The government is even interfering into the legislative arm of government. Why should we even go? Stanley Mutesk will propound that they have the right to examine you. The legislator has the right. Do we have a legislator in the river state that let's even assume that these people are gone? The three four people that are there. Is that what is should be in river state? That four people will make it loss for you, excluding the other people? The constituents where these people represent, they don't have a say. And you are happy presenting a budget to four. You are happy bringing a commissioner because you say government was wrong. You are happy bringing a commissioner to four. Or no, three now because the speaker is out of it. To scream. And the commissioner will begin to act. House of Assembly. Who is in the House of Assembly? Three people. You don't have conscience. Nobody has conscience again in Nigeria again. That is why a commissioner can go. Be, look, wait, don't tell me. Tom David was said, no, I will not do that. Sir, I know I'm not supporting any of these parties, but the point is this. Three people cannot screen me in the Assembly of 32 or 33. What kind of vote, demonic, voodoo-type democracy are we practicing in Nigeria? A governor is not joining hands, bringing legislative quarters to his own domain. House of Assembly, they used to call it handload chambers. It's just like the president now taking mass to Aso Rock and plant it there. When the, a bomb did it destroy, is that the only place that they can get protection? Is that the only government has in the whole of River State or Port Harcourt that they can operate from? Come on. These are things we have to self examine ourselves. Because this particular issue, I've sat down, periscoped it. I told her, I said, I don't want to discuss reverse issues again. Because this time, I feel so sad. I'm tired of it. You understand? Because every day the governor goes out now. He'll talk about, uh, they think, um, who are you? Are, are we in a market, a, a village meeting? The old tower of our chief is saying that people want to remove it. Is that what we're looking at? There are those who are not interested in your matter between these people here. The governor goes out. Instead of you delivering address, people come and say, they think that uh, they can remove me. God is bigger than them. Oh, boy, look at this one. Oh, my God. In modern day time, that the UK did an election of equivalent to a president within two days, results are, I mean, a day, results are out. The PM sworn in. The PM organizing so-called secretaries that like ministers in 24 hours and swore them they started working and we are here still debating it's just nuggets i'm just trying to give out but coming back to this they have told the governor bring that budget politically speaking the governor will not come and represent an act of egotistic situation and say, my people, and I know now his supporters will be calling, don't go there, don't even go there, we'll go burn the place down. 
We will show them that we are the people holding down this, whatever. The government is going to say, yes, my supporter said I should not come there. Even one general came out on TV with guns and said, I'm the one. Everybody that says he wants to do with him is going to do this. I don't understand the problem, all these things. Politically, he cannot come back to that assembly to come and present. We must have to be realistic. He cannot come there. Now, this book, don't wait and wait and wait till he dark and he does not come without a, a budget proposal. Now, they get angry. And when they get angry, they say, well, he has committed, you know, uh, gross misconduct to the Constitution under Section 188, you know, sub 2 or whatever of the Constitution. We are going to serve him impeachment notice. When the impeachment notice is served on him, he begin to, the state begins to boil again. Now, you look at what they did now. To tell you, to tell you that they know what they are doing, the governor now ran to uh, to the attorney general of the, uh, uh, the state. The next he, he ran to a uh, court to say that the CJ should not collect a resolution from the House of Assembly. Yes. Anybody you tell you all this thing is so funny. And you see, you know why I have to glide on this particular mode now because of the fact that the, I have down station on radio stations where people were arguing. One got up and said no. We got as I said, it's going to be like that. I said, oh boy, you go and sit down. See, let us be very careful. Illegalities are taking place in River State for too long. All right. We are waiting for them to see how they are going to resolve all this. I have serious things to talk on this. Serious one, you got to shut me down. You have to say something. Serious one, yes. All right. It's funny when people begin to call the governor and not mention one person who thought there is a lord in this state that is creating the problem that we are seeing till today. Thank God you mentioned about the UK story. I didn't see the outgoing prime minister carrying government properties to his house. I didn't see it. You, this one we see carrying. There's nothing. No, you let him do it, and we'll still tell him he's wrong. That somebody who is there. The, when you say we, who are the we? Because you keep making statements, and you say we. This problem will not be solved. That's what I'm saying now. Why you say we will still tell him that he's wrong? I will tell them. River people will tell them. If if he does the same thing, the likes of you so we can dig. River people. I will tell you. So it's not as if I am not a former, hold on, I'm not a former person. First, I'm going to let me inform you. Very clear on national TV. And people are busy saying here that somebody is going to say, everywhere he goes, he's saying uh, nothing's happening to us. Then what nobody is saying that Elisha Wicked said he will create problem in reverse them, which he is creating. No one is advising that. No one is talking that. Nobody is saying that Elisha Wicked. Claim the bought funds for everybody that created the election in State. Nobody is asking that. And that's constitutional democracy. Nobody is saying that. Nobody is saying that the news of the is saying that. He's, he has structured the river State, he's protected. To throw his pocket. Nobody is saying that. Nobody is asking if that is democracy. That one man who came and has not worked in his life. That is fed, that has been fed by government all through his life. From the government chairman to two staff to a minister. To a donor, back to a minister. Two hours his life has been fed by government. It's personal attack now because. Uh, because you are attacking the governor. I didn't attack. You attacked the governor because you mentioned what the governor was doing. Every day, and you are showing that the governor did this. And the, let us not go no, into no, no, that. No, no, That's what you did. No, 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 I, no, I will keep saying. I this. don't want to engage in this. Or because you need to, you need to get it. I don't want to engage in that. Excuse me, sir. Please. Don't need to mention the governor. Excuse me. I was careful with the governor. I was mentioning issues. If you raise that thing on me again, then I will say something that you will like. Please do, and I will answer you. I will reply you. Please, just calm down. I will reply you. Gentlemen, see, we must, we must, moderate this man. It's not, it's not good when you begin to allow people to talk. We, we listen. This kind of we must, we must, we must be able to speak. Truth to pass. Ah, not truth. Why are talking about truth? Yes. If you are speaking so, truth, so, 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 you so, shout. If you are speaking Dr. truth, Emmanuel. I will shout at the top Dr. of your voice for you to be heard. But Asam, Asam. Dr. Emmanuel. You don't do that, please. Dr. You are saying, saying, you are saying, you are saying, you are saying, you are saying, make some point to you wrong. I can't quiet, I can't quiet when you are busy insulting the donor, as it were. This is what you are saying. I can't quiet. Dr. Emmanuel, but it's that same at no point. Please, I didn't. Please, he did tell me. No, 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 no. We must shout him for the hour was not right, not twice. Don't turn the police on this thing. This man, we mentioned the police on this thing. 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 We address issues right now and your are control your guests control your guests please i don't like this kind of who has no direct bearing please yes 
because he has not. Don't talk about his vote of fight on Sunday. He has said anything. Is that the way you can make your point? No, no, no. With, with the issue we are addressing, the issue we are addressing, when we are addressing the government, we are addressing the government going outside. The government meddled in the discussions in rivers. That's not even the issue. But even the issue, we are saying he has not. 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 I will. I will say that it appears that in issues that regards to River State House of Assembly and the executive, you appear to suffer selective amnesia. Because if I may recall and rejig your memory, sir, I mean, the governor said on open television... That he will not be the people. Hold on. That have been declared... Hold on. Who says that they can't? Hold on. So you don't interpret it Hold on, Dr. Emmanuel. No, see, if you come Dr. here, Emmanuel. if you invite Dr. me here, Emmanuel. if you invite me here Dr. because Emmanuel. you want to really call the system, Dr. I will Emmanuel. stand here to tell you no. You, you, I will not let you misrepresent facts. I will not let you attack people unnecessarily. I will not let you but, but you, are, you will allow somebody, oh, you will allow somebody, the you will allow said, somebody say that the government, the government went said, to a, a function the and that he said, when he God is bigger than people. When he was Where hosting, people? excuse me, sir. Where is bigger than When he was hosting Syria K. Dixon, he, he said told he's bigger than people. That he God is bigger than people. He gave them a floating. He gave the River State House of Assembly a floating. And if he de decides to de recognize them, they cease to exist. Coming from an executive arm of government, he, Mr. D he Mr. did not Dr. Emmanuel, please again, again. That, see, that's did the problem. You, when you select, when you, you can, select speeches, you can address issues. Why? Why I'm not present. I, I told I you here. I see any direct. I told you. Uh, but you saw, you saw the rest. You saw that. You were able to see the rest. He addressed issues that the government went to Ukraine. And you sure. went straight on a speed lane to attack an FCT minister. Fuck. But Who I, is not directly related? I say he's directly related. Is it the FCT minister that told the assembly? Please, can you read your story? Excuse me, sir. We don't no, you read, you read the story. You, you did tell us here that these are people did that the are pro the FCT minister. Did you not read your story? Did the FCT minister tell River State House of Assembly? 25 to members. Stop calling the River State House of Assembly members. They're not going to assembly members. To give seven days <laughs> to the governor to represent In the your story, you showed did us you here. That? Yes. In your story, the yes. FCT minister yes. Yes, yes. In your story, you, you printed here. It's still here. I said yes. I, you that I said yes. So now you're and saying. I'm not afraid of I said yes. You're saying. That what they're doing you're is. Saying, no, no, no. Is you're saying. Case, saying do it. That's what I said. The River State House of Assembly. Please, on please stop calling me. They are not members of the Assembly. FCT minister. A factional. Factional members of the Assembly. On the instruction of the FCT minister, gave seven days ultimatum. Sure, I'm not going to do to represent the budget. Sure, are you also aware that the budget that they asked the governor to represent was actually cancelled by a court and the governor was ordered to represent the budget? Is it is it a legal matter or not? Chema, why you keep why you keep going? I am asking you questions. Please, you can't answer that question. You are saying that he's in I just told the you. I just told you that the fact that people can buy buy judgments in the night. Now you are accused. Hold on, and listen to me. Accusing the judiciary of, of selling judgments. Of course, it has happened here several. We've, we've discussed this. Of course, yes, we've said it several. <laughs> including you. I have never. We've we'll 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 never. Listen, we've we'll played the lines. Listen to me. I have never attended. Listen to me here. I'll not listen. let you do that. Listen to me. I'll not let you listen do that. Listen to me. I have never attended. Listen point. to me. I told you. I told you that you that you have a position. It's your own. I do right. not have a position. Listen to me. But I'll not let you misrepresent facts. Please. I'll not let you attack a fellow guest. When somebody I attack, attack, I, no, no, I, I will not let attack. you attack. You cannot attack my colleague. Where my colleague, where my colleague attack, 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 attack me? You cannot attack me. Can't do that. Hold on. You cannot attack me. You didn't attack me. Yes. Yes. Are you saying that nobody can attack me? Misrepresented facts. Okay, not loud. I don't want to see it because you are part of it. Bring one part. Bring bring one. Fact in present, when you present. say the governor no, went no, no, to function, no. at this point, I just told you one fact. In that's, why you will, that's why you won't listen. When you say a governor went to a function and said that people want to remove him and that God is bigger than them, for kind of land of what relevance has that to what you're saying? Did the governor say that? Or? Of course, he said it. Did you say the governor said that? Why are you not no, saying? Why did you say I'm attacking? I'm trying to understand. Let me also ask you. Did the governor say that? Or did he use a wicked not say? How is it? Did he use a wicked not to put his mouth here? If he quotes, no, 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 no. If he quotes the governor, did I not quote his own insults? Did I not quote his own insults? What has the FCT minister got to do with this? It's a problem. You said your job. You said your job. I asked you. I mentioned the things we said. Did he not say so? Emmanuel. 
Dr. Emmanuel, I, mentioned I, things, I expected the most civil conversation. I, I, I did tell you here, actually, I mentioned, you see, when you have an interest, you spoil the show. I have and that's what you're doing. And I'm not letting you. And I, I warned you once or twice when you started. You can't warn me on my show. Oh, good luck. With due respect. Good luck. You can't warn me on my show. I, you said yourself, Dr. Emmanuel, that you're bringing the FCT minister into this because he brought the governor into this. It's very clear. This and I do not understand how the governor is, uh, is not. It can be removed from the river state. And how do you think, how do you, in your the opinion, do you think the conversation, the minister, the conversation, how do you think the FCT minister can be removed from this discussion? The conversation. How do you think a man who said, a man who said he had the structures, he, he had the structures of the river state, be removed from the actions of people? Conversation. Who's due to know very clearly? As right sense. now, not with due respect to the governor, is the conversation not that the River State of Assembly has so the governor to Hold represent on. the budget. Did they can you, the can you read your... Is it not the governor? Can you read... So why, is can you go back and... why can't he talk about the actions of the governor? I will, I will talk about the actions I of the UK. That's what I'm telling you. We'll go on a break at this point. We'll go on a break. When we come back, we'll continue.